Emmy-nominated American Morning, CNN, weekday, 6 Eastern. You conducted this interview with Hayward in the Gulf. It was during the very beginning of the response effort in early May, and you asked him about BP taking responsibility for the spill. Quite an interesting answer. Yeah, uh, Karen, this was part of a longer conversation I had with Tony Hayward about responsibility. He was making it clear to me that he felt like his company's responsibility was limited to, to capping the well, capturing the oil, and compensating the victims. But when it came to the start of the disaster itself, he was trying to distance BP from that responsibility. The accident aboard the drilling platform, uh, you've made clear that that was the fault of that company, that drilling company. But it was your oil that was coming out here and is now poisoning the Gulf of Mexico. What kind of oversight did you have on that drilling operation? We had uh, the sort of oversight that an architect has on a, on a building site, is the way the industry works. It's the industry structure. So we had oversight of the, we had the design, they were doing the building. So they, they had the design, BP had the design, Transocean was doing the building along with Halliburton and other subcontractors as well. But when it comes for having an emergency plan for such a huge drilling operation, if something were to go wrong, did, did they have any kind of a plan in place? Well, this was before any sort of investigation was done about how this happened and what happened to the blowout preventer. And Hayward at the time seemed to be just as curious as everyone else about how something like this could happen. But it was pretty clear he felt that this event had been so rare that BP, like the rest of the industry, thought it could probably never happen. This, as I said, has never happened in the industry before. It is if a 747 has fallen out of the sky across the Atlantic. We need to understand through the investigation why, had it, why that has occurred. And then the industry will undoubtedly make interventions and take steps to change it. But there are all sorts of safety features involved in air travel. Are there enough safety features well, involved in drilling for there oil? There absolutely are. I mean, on this, on this blowout, clearly, well, somebody well, no, and, and sometimes aircraft fall out of the sky, right? It's interesting to hear him talk about that as well. It seemed to set the tone for the hearings a month later when he was grilled uh, in the halls of Congress. Uh, Mr. Haywood never really gave a clear answer on how safe the controversial dispersants were either. I mean, this was uh, an operation when they were using dispersants in, uh, you know, millions upon millions of gallons that they hadn't used before in such large quantities and underground. That's right. And when it came to dispersants, we got back to a familiar tone in that conversation about responsibility. In this case, Haver, we're saying the responsibility for the dispersants lies with the American regulators, uh, NOAA and the EPA. Do you have any idea what the long term effects on the environment might be? Has there been any discussion to BP about that? No, I, th I, mean, I really do think that's an, that is primarily a question for the EPA and NOAA. We are not an environmental science expertise. We have environmental scientists working on it. The primary environmental input is from the federal agencies. True, but you are a petroleum company and you do have the responsibility for cleaning it up. So don't you have some expertise in knowing what the environmental consequences well, of that might be? Of course we do, but the pro as I'm saying, this is a joined up effort and the primary environmental assessment is coming from the federal environmental agencies and the local environmental agencies. And we are following their direction. And again, all of this uh, very clearly coming forward in the first couple of weeks after this disaster, BP positioning itself for the three C's, capping the well, capturing the oil, and compensating the victims. And essentially, they here, almost 100 days after that disaster, they have not varied from that strategy. Yeah, three C's in there and at least one P passing the buck. There was a lot of that going on, that, going on in that interview too, David. Well, we saw some of that in Congress, too, when they had all the major players with this rig uh, there, too. And uh, President Obama tried to call them on it. And at this point, uh, 100, almost 100 days into this, we're still hearing that conversation continuing.